Good morning, boys and girls, faculty and staff, and welcome to the greatest elementary school in the entire world. We're glad you're here today. We have exciting fourth graders from Mr. Smith's class to lead our announcements, and we're going to turn our attention that way. Here we go. Hello, my name is Alondra, and I will lead you to, in the Pledge of Allegiance to the American flag. Wherever you are in the building, students, staff, and parents, please pause to honor our great nation. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. Good morning. My name is Nathan, and I will lead you in the pledge of allegiance to the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Hello, my name is Brandy, and please remain standing for one moment of silence. You may be seated. Hello, my name is Sol Hello, my name is Solomon. Today, the cafeteria will be serving whole grain buns, sweet potato puff, romaine chef, and hard cookie egg, yogurt and salad plate. Seasoned corn and whole grain grips. Good morning, my name is Mason. Currently, weather conditions at Bear Branch are 72 degrees. Today, we can expect a high of 91 degrees. Okay, boys and girls, talking about the weather for just a minute. It is supposed to get considerably cooler this weekend. So you might want to check Lost and Found and see if you have any jackets or hoodies or anything out there that your parents might want you to wear this weekend because I think the weather's going to be great and you may want to be outside and experiencing that. We had our very first National Elementary Honor Society meeting this morning of the first meeting of the year. I understand that uh, those folks decided what their projects are going to be uh, for our school this 2012-2013 uh, term, and so we'll be listening for them to be on the announcements to share all of that with us. We have so many opportunities, boys and girls, to participate in so many things here at Bear Branch. Not only are you learning in that classroom, but teachers are helping do, do all sorts of extracurricular type things with you as well. So participate as much as you can. Let's look at our attendance for just a moment. Yesterday, oh, listen to this. 98 and 8 tenths percent of our students were here yesterday. That is just absolutely phenomenal. Uh, fifth grade, congratulations. You had no people absent at all. 100 percent perfect attendance for you. First grade, you just missed it by one yesterday, so keep on trying, boys and girls. Our gardens are really starting to look good as you go back and forth, as you walk by the butterfly garden especially. I want you to look at that, all grade levels. Um, even our older boys and girls pass by there sometimes during the day. Look at all the different blossoms, the colors of the blossoms. Yesterday we saw quite a few of the monarchs come through too. And that's the first time we've seen that. So remember they're migrating down to Mexico for the winter. Um, watch for that. Also our gardening group, JMG, Junior Master Gardeners, have begun to uh, straighten up some of our beds and you'll notice some difference. They pulled so many vines and things off of the uh, front native beds yesterday. We actually found some plants hidden under there that we didn't know were there. And they uncovered the sundial, so that was really exciting. So if you're a member of that group, well, come in uh, serious about it and then uh, earn the opportunity to go out and do some additional gardening yourself. Monday is a student holiday. Parents will be here, though, some of them visiting with our teachers. All of our teachers will be here. We'll be uh, holding conferences with parents. And teachers, this is for you to know, we are going to provide uh, child care for staff kids that day here at school. So if you have a child that needs some care uh, while you're working and holding those conferences, that will be available to you at no charge. All right, uh, another thing I wanted to mention, teachers, by now, all of you in first through fifth should have received a CD like this. Boys and girls, we're working really, really hard to try to get all of our music ready for our Veterans Day program. And it's going to take a lot of work, and this is something we can do. I'm going to be going around and listening to the various grade levels and see how we're progressing on learning the words to our particular song. We have a carnival coming up. It's going to be here before you know it, just when all that cool weather hits. 
and it will be on a Saturday. Start telling your parents about that. You'll see posters go up. We have a poster contest for that as well. I think if you win the poster contest, you probably win some free tickets again this year to use at the carnival. So participate when you can. Next week, fifth grade, you're going to be having some vision and hearing screening. So remember that. And if you happen to be in fourth grade, you do not have choir next week. Keep this in mind. Fourth grade choir only meets on music weeks. So if your specials for a week is music, you'll have choir. If your specials for that week would include art, then you don't have choir on those weeks. Okay? Um, at this time, let's turn around and recognize, I believe we have one person out there for extracurricular activities. Ms. Crawford. It is a great day here at the branch. I have Mr. Reed, and he received the defensive player of, at the game last week at his football game. He recovered a fumble. That is awesome, and that football looks great. He plays for the Panthers. Congratulations, Reed. All right. Boys and girls, at this time we're going to ask that you stand. Uh, we're going to sing our school song. Here we go. song. Two other.